Let's take a look at a uh, charge pump. Now I put together an AC to DC charge pump and a DC to DC charge pump. This AC charge pump here, it's a voltage doubler. It's got two diodes and two capacitors. And what happens here is I'm putting 16 volts uh, RMS uh, voltage in. And when the sine wave is in a positive direction, it allows this, this capacitor to charge up. And when it's in the negative direction, it allows this capacitor to charge up. The two capacitors are in series with each other. And they both up charge up to the to the uh, maximum uh, re rectified voltage, and so we double that up. We add those two together, and it doubles the, the voltage on the output. Now, when you're taking DC, AC and put it into DC, it's not the RMS value that you're doubling up. You know, it's not going to be 32 volts out here. So, we're going to double the peak value. So the the peak of a 16 volt RMS is about 22.6 volts, and we need to take off about 0.6 for the volt, volt, diode drop so that comes out to 21.4 and we double that to 42.8 volts okay now we need to we need to calculate the DC ripple voltage because these capacitors are are trying to smooth this out here so we don't have the peak value anymore so there's a formula to to calculate that maybe we'll go in that in a different uh, video but for now we know it's going to be greater than 32 and uh, less than the 42.8 volts over here on the output and uh, we'll, we'll check that out we'll actually put one together and you can also use this uh, cascade multiplier same thing we just we just keep adding these together and uh, you can keep multiplying the, the, the voltage up and get very high voltage out of that now your DC to DC how it works it's got two diodes and two capacitors but we're using one capacitor to charge it with so when the uh, switch here is in the grounded position, then your 5 volts DC can come through, charge up this capacitor. And then when we put this switch back up to, uh, to the 5 volt rail, we have this capacitor charged at 5 volts, and then we add this other 5 volts here, and that makes 10 volts. It comes over here and charges this capacitor up to, uh, to 10 volts. Okay. Now, uh, when we have it, it'll be about 9.4 volts because of the, uh, the drops of the, the diodes. These happen to be Schottky diodes here. And these were regular diodes over here. And then you don't want to sit there and switch this switch all day long. So what I did is I put a, a PWM pulse width modulation on here and a uh, MOSFET. And then I just put this uh, LED in there just to, to so we can see that this thing's uh, actually working. Uh, but you wouldn't you wouldn't do that. In fact, I'm going to have some voltage drop across there. But it works the same as this. When the MOSFET is on, current comes in through through this diode charges up the capacitor and then when we turn it off uh, it allows the uh, the voltage to come through here and puts five volts on this side and so we have our five volts from the rail and five volts in the capacitor and uh, it charges up this with uh, to 10 volts here it is here now I've got the uh, let's see what our yeah, our AC one or D DC voltage is 40 volts, 40.5 uh, volts out of that one. I'm putting in 16 volts RMS value in there, so uh, that's pretty good. And this one here is the uh, I have five volts on there, or 4.95 volts on there right now. And then if I turn the switch here, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I, if I I got 9.4, depends how fast I go here. <laughs> I get up 9.5 or so so uh, now we don't want to stand there with a the switch all day so I put in this uh, a PDM, PWM controller here and I'm turning on my MOSFET with that so I'm going to try this guy put this over here and plug that in and eh, not doing very good there There it goes. Yeah. All right, eight uh, eight point one two volts there, and like I say, you wouldn't use a diode, but uh, or the uh, LED just there to show you the pulse right there. Now this is only at, at twenty hertz. Now, when you uh, normally you won't uh, you won't build these things up. You'll just buy a uh, uh, a little IC chip, a, a 
the ones I bought were a TC 76600 there and they're a DC to DC charge pump they operate at 10 kilohertz and very simple little device to use and you just add a couple uh, capacitors on the outside of that and uh, you have uh, you know it does all the switching for you so that's the way to go if you need a if you need a charge pump a lot of times you'll need a charge pump when you're converting from a uh, you know TTL signal to a RS-232 signal because a 232 signal is uh, is uh, you know 15 volts uh, plus or minus and you know TTLs you know five volts or so but uh, that's uh, that's a charge pump it's very simple uh, design for a charge pump all right thank you